Hello, everyone. This is Gigi with DPI, and today we're going to discuss save searches. So your CRM comes with the ability to send listing alerts. And the way you do that is by logging into your CRM. You are going to set up a save search for a contact. This essentially will send your contact listing alerts anytime there's a brand new listing inside the criteria that you set for your client. So let's set up a save search. I'm logged into my own CRM at the moment. I, I'm here entered as a pretend customer, and I'm going to add a save search for Gigi. We're going to say she's a buyer. So the way you add a save search for someone is you click on the little blue person icon across from the name under the manage column. And you're going to scroll down to the section that says save searches. And then there's a set of instructions here on how to do it. Step one is turn on the searches. There's a little green flip here on the upper right-hand side. Step two is click on add save search. There's a button here that says add save search. This opens up the search page on your website. So by default, my default zip code is 33177. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. But you would enter your buyer's criteria here. So if it's a, if it's a, a different city, uh, a different zip code, you would enter that here. And then property type, I'm going to select single family homes. And I am going to look for three plus bedrooms, two plus baths. And Gigi's budget is, let's say, six to 700. So there are 17 properties found right now within this criteria. I'm going to save this search for Gigi. There's a button here that says save this search. I'm going to click that one time. I'm going to exit the search page at the top. And I'm going to hit the save button right after that. And now you're going to see across from Gigi's name under the save search column that Gigi has four save searches set up. So initially it was three. Now it's four because I added one. So let's check these save searches. Let's see what they are. So the way you check is you click on, again, the little blue person icon. Everything happens in here. You scroll down to the save search section and you'll be able to see all the save searches set up for Gigi. This being the last one that I added, single family, 600 to 700, 33177, three bedrooms, two baths. I can, from here, I can delete save searches. I can view them so I can see the results inside of them. I can also edit them if your buyer or your client chooses different criteria. So I wanted to show you what a listing alert or a safe search email looks like. So remember that all you have to do is set this one time for your client. And from that point forward, they're going to be hearing from you on a regular basis with listings that they might potentially be interested in. Now that email looks like this. So it's a branded email for you. So this would be branded to you. It would have your photo, your name your broker information, your email, and then the listing within that criteria you set for them in the safe search. If this, if they click on this link on this listing, it goes straight to the listing on your website. It doesn't take you anywhere else. Okay. So it's a great way to keep people, clients on your website. So you want to be doing this for all, at least all of your buyer leads. That way, they can be hearing from you regularly. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, just reach out to us. Thank you.